sorry. No! No! That one was new. The girl screaming for help. Where the hell did she come from? I need some water. 18 months. Relentless. Unchanging. And suddenly her. She wanted to take me somewhere. What pulled her away like that? Hmm. All right, well. Welcome back to Past Cure. So far, this is interesting. I thought that was snow, but it's a beach. Oh, we're supposed to get some water. Let's go follow the, the tutorial real quick and get this done. Okay, I can't even run in my own house. Is that the water I need? Alright, so let's get the water. I hate those things on fridges. Yeah, for that reason right there. Because weird crap happens with those things on your fridge. Especially when you mess with your wife. Wake up. What are you doing here? Hey, who? What the fuck is going on? Wait. This is just a hallucination. None of it's real. Get your medication. And this will go away. Okay. Upstairs bathroom. Okay. Dude, I don't know if I want to walk past this guy. Okay, but I'm gonna interact with him. Okay, wait. They're not real. Okay, they're blocking the way. I assume this is the Keep bathroom. It together, Ian. Concentrate. Nice frickin' shower. Dude, that's awesome. There we go, right here. Take the blue blue pills recharge your sanity meter. Okay. So I took That's a blue it. pill. These hallucinations are getting worse every day. Um press one to open inventory. This contains those about the story, your current objections, any you're currently carrying inventory. The blue the blues. I'm I'm carrying the blues. All right. Objectives. Blue pills. We know that. Okay. Apparently I'm rich. Like, extremely rich. Because, like, that's the size of my closet right there. The, the, the yeah. <laughs> Look at this tub. Oh, he's got a bidet. I think. I don't know. I've never had a bidet. Okay, let's go downstairs. Uh-oh. Hello? Marcus? Sorry to disturb you so late, but I had a bad feeling. How are you? Not good. Nightmares? Hallucinations? Both. But this time it was different. There was a woman, Marcus. Do you know her? No. But she seemed... familiar. Like I should know her. Do the pills still work? Yes, thank you. Not only for this. For everything. Ian? I mean it. I turned up out of nowhere, 
with the weirdest story and you believed me. You took me in, let me stay in the beach house, got me medication. You're my brother, Ian. There's nothing in the goddamn world I wouldn't do for you. Thanks anyway. Thank me later. I have a present for you. I found a trace. The man who took me? There's a traitor trying to sell a remarkable drug. It's called Nexus, and it's supposed to give the user certain abilities. He's selling to a pretty shady organization tomorrow morning. Give me his address. They rented two floors of the Crowley Arms, downtown. The place will be brimming with mercenaries, Ian. I don't care. If he's the lead, I'll be there. Are you sure you can control it? Yes. Good. I will keep on digging and send you the information tomorrow. Rest now. Take the blues if you need them, and gather your strength. We will bring them down, Marcus. We will burn them to the ground. Good night, Ian. Good night. Two. Arose another battle. An arms race began, with each side employing the brightest and most ruthless scientists to develop a new weapon, the human mind. With government backing, projects like MK Ultra gave birth to a dark age of science. Inhumane experiments were conducted on prisoners, students, and even children. Their goal, unlocking the hidden power and potential of the mind. Most were shut down from their dangerous methods and lack of success. But there are many who believe that they were continued in secret, financed by private organizations hungry for the promised powers. Powers attained through pain and suffering, turning men into monsters. said, only the weak speak to themselves. But I like it. It keeps me focused. Helps me make sense of this mess. Three years I'm missing from my memory. Three years between stepping out of a plane from Syria and waking up on a highway in England. I have no idea what went on in that time. But something changed in me. Something I can't explain. My mind is not the same anymore. I can see and do things that should not be possible. I have somehow gained a power that I can barely control. A power that's turning me insane. Whatever has been done to me, I'm still a soldier. And a human being. If I hold on to these thoughts, I will survive. Right. <clears throat> what can we do? I don't think we can do anything out here on the beach. Nice beach house. I should check my gun before the morning. I'll need it tomorrow. I want to see if we can interact with this TV now. That's it. Who do you turn to when you are lost? Your family. Marcus was smarter than I. He left the service long before me. Made his fortune as a doctor. He was there for me. And still is. What's this? Another bathroom? At least I have a reflection. <laughs> Ooh, door open both ways. You see that? What's up? <laughs> All right. I guess there's nothing else to do, so let's go ahead and go downstairs. 
I do believe this is the shooting range. Probably this one. Range is locked. What? Ooh. Ooh, information. <coughs> Look at that computer. Oh, oh my. Oh my god. Since my abduction, I oh. see the world in a different way. Or should I say, I see it in a different rate. If I concentrate, I can see everything in slow motion. It's beautiful to watch, but leaves a splitting headache. Keys for shooting range and the gem. Okay. Marcus is a well connected man, but despite his contacts, our investigation into my disappearance has only drawn blanks. We can find no one who shares my story. No clues or pieces that fits the puzzle. But this drug, this nexus, it's the strongest lead we've had so far. Okay, there we go. I thought I could I've read it. many accounts of outer body experiences Whoa. throughout the world, but nothing like my own. At will, I can leave my body and see myself from the outside. Okay. What books do we have on the shelf? Doorway, Boo, Boo. Let's read Boo. <laughs> All right, let's go. There we go. Really, girly mags. Marcus insists that I keep a dream diary. He says it's vital that I record all hallucinations and dreams. The entries are always the same. Horrific locations. Violent deaths. But last night was different. The woman calling my name. She has to mean something. When I first came here, I had no control over my powers. I destroyed every electrical device in the house. With practice, I have learned to control it and only destroy what I choose. Who closed the door? I know what you're thinking. What normal person builds a shooting range in their basement? Uh. I'm not a normal person. Besides, it was Marcus' idea. He thought it would help with my recovery. Routine is good for a soldier. Marcus believes my powers are a gift. I should master them. But he doesn't know what it's like to feel the very sanity being drained from your mind. That's why I try to do things the old-fashioned way. If I keep my skills sharp and remember my training, I shouldn't need... It's getting better. And I'm out. So you can't jump or anything, that sucks. So far. All right, let's go. I do believe I got everything in here. I'm going to do a really quick check. Just in case. Because you can't activate a new one until the last one is done talking. All right, let's go. I don't have an objective. Oh, I do. Look terrible. Uh oh. Do I need to take the blues? P. 
heels. What's that sound? Is there a bird in the house? Go to sleep. Let's um let's go to bed. What? Maybe we should go to bed. Not sure how these videos are gonna be playing out, but I think we might cut this one here. Hopefully it it uh played well with the rest of the videos. But uh thanks for watching. We'll see you after I, I get some sleep. Wake up.